Would you like to know which EV stock to buy in 2020? Is Tesla still the bullish one that we have to buy? Or there is another electric vehicle company that would ready to snatch the crown from them? So watch this video till the end so you would know the right strategy among the top three best electric vehicle stock which arise this month of July 2020. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Money Mind. If you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe so that you can help this channel to grow. Workhorse ticker WTHS made a noise on June 29 when it break the wall of $10, three days after it reached to all-time high at $22.9, which is 1,634% from its 52-week low of 1.32. However, it wasn't able to sustain its run dipping to $15.18 per share in July 10 as Collier Securities downgraded the stock from buy to neutral on July 9, 2020. WKHS Manufacturers Integrated Drone Electric Delivery Band had expected delivery of 300 to 400 units of C-Series bands by the end of 2020 to United Parcel Service or UPS. Accordingly, UPS had ordered 1,000 units of C-Series vehicles. The van market, as according to their investors' presentation, is about $18 billion. Unfortunately, total sales can't be quantified as of this video because price per unit is not available. In addition, they have an opportunity for 165,000 vehicles contracted with UPS worth $6.3 billion. Nonetheless, workhorse has limited growth, which must be the priority of a growth investor to look at according to Yahoo Finance. What will happen to the company once UPS contract is fully served? What if conflict arises between them? Or a cheaper competitor would come? We all know how competitive auto industry is. Having that negative growth rate next year of negative 0.7% and not available data for the next five years, with operating margin at 12 trailing months of negative 15,982.98%, a current ratio of 0.62, book value per share of negative 0.31, while having an operating cash flow of negative 38.93 million. To me, it signifies that the company is in trouble financially. Though, accordingly, it able to secure $70 million of senior secured convertible note from a single institutional investor. But note, don't be misguided with the headline. Because actually, it is a note meaning a liability with an option to be converted into a stock. With a negative cash flow to begin with, as a result, they could have a free working capital of 31 million. Now, how can they support its operation and sales target knowing that AV needs years before they become profitable or could have a positive cash flow? Moreover, the note is going to mature by July 1, 2023. So that means roughly two years, right? With 4.5% coupon rate or interest rate to be paid quarterly in either cash or stock beginning October 1, 2020. What if that 
investor or lender would ask them for cash instead of stock, then they could have trouble financially, right? In addition, workhorse may be required to redeem up to $3.5 million of principal in monthly installments in either cash or stock beginning October 1, 2020. So that is how many months? Three years from this month. Will the sale from UPS is enough to pay that maturing obligations then? Oh my God. So for me, it actually signifies that if I invested on this company, I'll be in trouble right away. Therefore, on my own point of view, workhorse stock is not a buy, nor it is a hold. Therefore, if you hold certain stock, now with workhorse and then you're supposed to sell that one if you don't want to be in trouble losing your money due to bankruptcy second on my list is neo incorporated dub as tesla of china listed in new york stock exchange with a symbol and i o is china's premium smart electric vehicle market Closing the gap to its closest competitor, the king of kings, Tesla, as it made a series of headlines in the month of June and July. Neo's share price increased week by week, then finally broke the $10 wall last July 6, 2020, when it closed at $11.51. Doubts over Neo on its production capacity is high. Along with China-US trade conflicts, risking the company to be delisted in New York Stock Exchange and the latest accounting scandal by a China coffee company may cause its share price to increase slowly compared to other EV counterparts. However, investors must be reminded that delisting is not that easy as affected by any political turmoil. Because the United States has good law according to that. Moreover, NEO is being audited by well-respected accounting firm Price with their house Coopers. In addition, NEO is operated in China, which is undeniably the biggest EV market of the world. NEO's turbo engine blazed finally this week. After the Munich design mid-sized SUV electric vehicle maker announced that it exceeds its delivery target as it produced an all-time high quarter delivery of 10,331 units in three months in the June 2020, exceeding its quarter guidance of 10,000 units. Accordingly, it made 3,740 vehicles in June 2020, making its cumulative delivery of AS8 and AS6 at 46,082 to date. According to Yahoo Finance, NEO has a growth rate of 31.2% the next year and 28% on the next five years. Like what I said, as a growth investor, it is important to check if that company has an ideal growth rate. This growth rate means that NEO has the potential to increase its production and sales next year, right? In China alone, what if NEO would go beyond the borders? What if NEO would start to sell now in South Korea? in East Asia. What more if NEO would start to sell in Europe also in North America. With only 123,939 of cash and cash equivalents, PwC had clearly stated their liquidity and going concern status for that company. They said, that the group's cash balance as of December 31, 2019 is not sufficient to meet its obligations or liabilities when they come due, nor it is adequate to provide the required working capital and liquidity for continuous operations over the next 12 months. 
So if you are worried that Mayo will be cooking its book, hey, they have PwC. And PwC is very honest. In fact, they included the liquidity and going concern problem with this company on the annual report being reported to US SEC. However, Neo's rocky road to success due to financial constraints come to an end. When Neo enters into a definitive agreements for establishing Neo's China's headquarter in Hefei, forming Neo and He Holdings Limited, a legal entity of Neo China with aggregate investment of 7 billion RMB or roughly 1 billion USD. It also successfully offered additional offering of 72 million American depository share at a price of 5.95 USD per ADS for a total value of 428,400,000 USD with a 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 10,800 ADS to its underwriters for a total of $64,260,000. With these two additional investment alone, take note, additional investment and equity offering. It means that NEO had improved its liquidity position now recovering its going concern status. So we don't have to worry about bankruptcy. As we all know that they have now cash, enough cash, while increasing its liquidity. Therefore, debt-to-equity ratio shall be improved this year. Meanwhile, current ratio will increase along with improved sales. Therefore, we can expect a positive financial results with their 2020 financial statements. In addition, they got a 10.4 billion yuan credit line facility from six Chinese banks, according to CNTechPost.com, though the company have not posted it yet on their website. This one could spearhead its manufacturing center for their global startup, which means that the company is now planning to sell outside the border of China. With the support of China government and private investor, notably Tencent, Mayo, the premier electric vehicle focusing on electric mid-sized SUV, also having Neo House, Neo Power, the most or the best thing I ever know for an auto company, a battery swap, and other value-added post-sale services. Actually, post Neo as the number one automaker once it can able to scale out and use that funding that they have efficiently. Bottom line is Neo Abai. Even having a downgrade by Goldman and Zacks from buy to neutral, this company is traded at discount. Having a revised price target per Yahoo Finance of $39.01, with the current price at 14.98 as of the closing of July 10, it shows that actually the stock price is being discounted as much as 62%. Top of the list, of course, is no other than Tesla, the king of electric vehicle. Tesla is overtaking Toyota Motors as the most reliable auto manufacturer at market capitalization of $286.85 billion compared to Toyota's $174.55 billion as of the closing of July 10, 2020. Traded in NASDAQ having a sim symbol TSLA. Tesla just printed to all-time high of $1,544.65 today, July 10, 2020, an increase of 10.78% compared to previous closing of $1,394.28. 
the number one electric vehicle company which also operate in energy generation and storage which offers lithium ion battery systems and solar energy generation had surpassed analyst estimates of delivered cars in Q2 with 90,650 units delivered which might be adjusted by 0.5% rounding off its total delivery to 91,103 compared to analyst of 72,000 units. This delivery numbers hype Tesla's revenue expectations in the second quarter of 2020 to be highly favorable, which could finally make the king Elon Musk to be added at S&P 500 list. According to Forbes, Tesla is larger than 95% of companies already on the prime index. Is this the final run of Tesla? Is this the final lap? Of course not. It's just the beginning actually. What lies ahead to Tesla is after finishing this S&P 500 listing is to become a trillion dollar company. With only 185 million of outstanding shares, they roughly need $5,391.42 per share. Seems too high as Amazon, the number one company to date in terms of share price, having $3,200. Though for me, it's not impossible for Tesla to achieve that faith as demand for the stock continue to rise day to day and those loyal investors those must bob as they said is kept on rising in fact according to yahoo finance tesla has a growth rate of 2115 percent this year amazing growth and 160.30% next year and 277.38% on the next five years. Tesla has still a lot to go. They might have naysayers. They might have bashers. They might have analysts who don't believe them who say they are overvalued. But the demand speak on itself and we cannot control the demand we cannot dictate the law of demand and supply so is tesla stock a buy at any stock price level today the pioneering electric vehicle company according to me is an opportunity to buy as long as you have that capital as you as long as you have that courage to put that big capital to own a certain stock of Tesla. Many would argue that Tesla is overvalued as fair value per Morningstar is $731. Well, Yahoo Finance had one year target estimate of $766.47 compared to its current price of $1,544.65, which means that the stock price is overvalued by more than 100 percent well this is this estimate entirely correct with the right fundamentals to analyze as well to examine tesla will forward price to sales ratio of 133.97 which People could say that Tesla is risky compared to S&P 500 average of 23.20. But having that peg ratio of 4.2. Imagine only 4.2 in an AV stock, in an auto industry. It suggests that Tesla's price today actually is sold again at discount. Given with that growth rate. Remember. That we are not investing today. We are investing for the future. I also calculated the intrinsic value of Tesla 
Using the growth rate provided by Yahoo Finance, which is 277.38% for the next five years, with a cash flow of 992 million, Tesla's intrinsic value is $11,838.63 per share. That is before margin of safety. But given that this industry is very volatile, I will give a margin of safety by 40%, which means that that's the only money that I can afford to lose for this kind of stock. Therefore, the intrinsic value of Tesla shall be 7,103.18. And it's only selling at 1,500 as of today. So therefore, the Tesla actually is not overvalued when we speak about intrinsic value or fair value. So if you will ask me what stock to buy, I would suggest that buy Tesla because of its intrinsic value and its opportunity and actually it is a stable company. Been there for more than 10 years and have a result of, uh, I mean, a positive operating margin already and having a positive cash flow. If you can also consider NEO because NEO would give you a uh, higher return of capital because having a capital of $15 per share compared to $1,500 or $1,800 next, next week for Tesla, right? So imagine having 1,000, having one share, I mean, having one share of Tesla for that 1,500, it will equivalent to 100 share of NEO, right? So if there will be a price increase, equilibrium price, so it could be uh, NEO would have a $300 per share, let's say in five years, then you could have uh, 300 times 100. You could ha potentially have $30,000. While for that one stock of Tesla for 1500 and then it would come to $10,000 as I calculated for 11000 let's say 10000 share price, then you only have 10000 So you have opportunity cost of 20000 But if you have the capability, if you have that capital to invest these two companies, Tesla and Neo, then do it. Why choose one if you can do the two, right? So, I always believe on the power of two. If only you have the capability, if you have that finances, which is ready for investment. So, that's all for now, guys. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button. And please also give me a like for our YouTube algorithm so you can help this channel to grow more because it really give me a reason to give you a valuable content like this and give you stock tips, stock recommendations, personal finance, and all. Just remember guys that in investing, there's always a trade-off. A trade-off for capital and a trade-off for risk and Retort. Just remember that you have to take care of your money because this time you need to be money-minded.